I want to tell you the reason I believe in God. And keep in mind that in this video I'm going to be talking about the reason I believe in God and not actually building an argument for the existence of God. And to my mind those two things are different things. Because you could somewhat pick my, my reasoning apart in the sense that you could say, oh well, this assumes that this one thing is true, and I'm like, yeah, because I assume that that one thing is true, right? Okay, so I believe in God because I believe that both chaos and purpose exist simultaneously, meaning they, they both exist with, within reality, and because of the existence of both, not one, but both of those two things at the same time, I believe that God exists. Okay, so this leads us to three questions. What is purpose? What is chaos? And why does the existence of these two things lead me to believe that God exists? Okay, so one, what is chaos? Chaos is that bad things happen. Chaos is bad things happening, right? And we could think about this on an objective or on a subjective level. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to talk about chaos in a subjective level, on a subjective level. That is, bad things happening to me, or things that I find to be bad happening. But more specifically, bad things happening to me. And that's more what I mean when I say chaos and purpose. This is more what I'm talking about. Bad things happening to me. And you could think about this uh, about you specifically, instead of putting me in there if you wanted to think about this. And the reason why I'm not going to speak about it on an objective level because is because I think that bad things happening on an objective level implies that God exists. And I'm not going to talk about that now, I just think it's worth mentioning. Now, what does purpose mean? That's somewhat of a complicated question, and <laughs> I could do an entire video talking about what purpose is. But to put it simply, purpose, or to put it even in other words, not simply, but in other words, purpose means that my life has meaning, or that there's some sort of meaning to life, uh, and that my life matters as well. Not just a meaning to life, it's, it's more than just a meaning to life, it means that my life matters. It means that the things that I do matter, and that my purpose, specifically speaking, uh, my purpose is not to suffer without meaning. And that's what I mean when I say that I believe in purpose, that my purpose isn't to suffer without meaning, that if I suffer, there's going to be meaning for it. Now. Since I believe that chaos and purpose exist, that leads me to the conclusion that God exists. And that leads us to the question of why, why I have come to that conclusion. And I've come to that conclusion because, first of all, it is possible for, to build a paradigm in which purpose exists and chaos does not exist. In that paradigm, we don't need to posit the existence of God in order to describe things, right? In that paradigm, I could give myself purpose, right? I'm, I'm able to give myself purpose in that paradigm, in a paradigm where chaos doesn't exist and I have purpose. However, in a paradigm in which chaos and purpose both exist, I'm unable to give myself purpose. And that's because I'm unable to ensure that the chaos doesn't ruin my plans. Since I don't have power over the chaos, I'm unable to give myself purpose. If I were able to give myself purpose in the midst of the chaos, could I really describe chaos as chaos? Could I really describe it as bad things happening? 
to me especially, right? Bad things are happening to me. What's what's stopping these bad things from ruining all of my plans? Now, since I believe that my life has purpose and that chaos exists, I must believe then that God exists. That is, that someone outside of the chaos, somebody who has control over the chaos, somebody who has power over the chaos, is able to reach into my life and give my life meaning and purpose. Now, that is to say that if I make the right decisions, if I do the right things, I will end in the right spot. Even if things end poorly for me, things will end well. And I know that's a paradox. I know that that's a, an oxymoron, even. That if I do the right things, things will end well, even if they end poorly. So that no matter the chaos, no matter the situation, my life will have meaning and I will be able to die with a smile on my face. Even in the midst of pain, I will have meaning. Even in the midst of what seems like unbearable chaos, I will be able to have meaning and purpose in my life. And I believe that. Now, why do I believe that? That's a deep question. I mean, not a deep question, but that's a good question. <laughs> and it's really one I'm unable to answer. Because could this, could this actually be true? That my life has purpose? That my life has meaning? That there's a meaning to everything going on? I don't know. I just believe it. It's not a belief that I came to easily. It's, it's not a belief that was easy for me to believe. It was something I believed after pondering it very deeply. And again, like I said, this isn't an argument. This isn't a good argument for why God exists, specifically because of this, because I can't prove to you that your life has purpose, right? It's just that if my life didn't have purpose, then I'm not really sure the reason I'm going to exist. Right? This is the entire question of to be or not to be. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing, end them. Right? I mean, that's, that's the entire question, isn't it? And if I'm going to choose to be, it's because I believe that my being has meaning. And if my being has meaning in the midst of chaos, then there must be someone outside the chaos calling my being, calling my existence into purpose, into meaning, into excellence, into fulfillment. Or to put this entire video, it, to put this entire explanation in the words of the psalmist, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me into green pastures. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesakes. Namesake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever.